Hello boys and girls, welcome to peek over my shoulder as I explore Neofeud, which by the way is uh, is currently on Steam Greenlight and also you can upvote it on GOG and also you can just go to Paleotech, you can, you can go to uh, Silver Spook Games homepage and get it from there. We have made it to the next area after some bad shit uh, went down in the residentials. Also I checked uh, whether the immediate effects uh, vary uh, depending on, uh, on what you write down in the report and uh, nope. Your boss still chews you out exactly the same. You get in with a secret handshake. Hey, baby. Ah, so that's the outlet here, yeah. We can always be prepared. <laughs> okay, let's keep on discovering. Hey, get away from there. Okay, oh, oh, sorry. The keypad. what I'm trying to do. Can oh! Oh! Okay, yeah, so where is the... do I get like... Okay, the phone itself doesn't display a thing, so let's try this. Okay, never mind. Letter opener? shoes in there huh and we shall fit right in Yoink. put that thing away I'm gonna celebrate by saving the game do we have here? Sign, vent, something. Oh, okay. These are parts. know something and notice something hey hey you unicycle leg burnout bot you there <laughs> hey snap out of it <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you Damn it. This is just. 
junkie's done one too many hits of liquid crystal myth. Blue screened out of his mind. I could try whacking him upside the brain box. Sometimes that works. That's just rude. Oh, but what about juicing him a little bit? <laughs> He's actually gonna do it? Fuck. Oh. Why, hello there. Hey. Hey. B buddy. B bionic man. You know my friend Sid? What? Sid? Acid? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Uh, I'm not hustling LSD. I thought California Sunshine doesn't work on humanoid bots and other non-biologicals. I'm talking about battery acid, Blender Boy. <laughs> I need lithium ion juice, like now. You got that swanky danky arm, huh? You must know the Chrome Boys. Yeah? I'll give you cash, my solenoids, and backup cooling <laughs> system, my motherboard, whatever you want. I just need my Mythium fix. Slow down, you damn junkie. You know, there's a reason that Mythium crap failed all the product safety tests, right? Of course I know that. I was one of the thousands of high tech cores conscious machines they manufactured to do the safety tests on. <laughs> we. We're the Neil Armstrongs, the Buzz Lightyears, exploring the far reaches of cyber drug altered consciousness. The robotic Tim Learys. I've opened my third eye to things you wouldn't believe. Sailed solar flares <laughs> on the surface of the sun. Watched attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. Uh... Are you sure you actually saw these things? <laughs> or did you just trip hallucinogens after binging on Blade Runner? There are realities out there. In there. Hyper-realities, my friend. Realness is a lie. It's electromagnetic signals interpreted by your brain. It's all a figment of our imagination. You, me, the dirt on the sidewalk, the 80s neon, the low city, the high city, neo-feudal society. It's all an illusion. <laughs> okay, okay, Immanuel Kant. Let's say it's an illusion. I still have to live in this body, eat food, take a shit, work for neo-feudal bureaucratic assholes. Deep mouth words, my friend. Hold on while I... Oomphalo skepsize on your cone a moment. Oomphalo <laughs> um, what? You know, when they first came out with the Mythium drug, it was called Crash. Because it would crash any humanoid system who took it. A lot of us didn't come out of it. The neurotechs and scientists who tested the substances on us, they used to call us Crash Test Dummies as a joke. Almost all of us went blue screen of death and never woke up again. Almost all. There were thousands, maybe millions of us. I don't know. I was living in a glass cage in an underground lab somewhere most of my life, in my life cycle. My activation time. Whatever we conscious robots have. Yeah, most of us wound up dead. Some of us were sold off to the MK Ultra 2 program. A few of us escaped. I guess I spent so much of my short existence tripping out of my e-mind, I didn't really think about anything else. Wow. <laughs> that's... that's crazy, man. Forget it, man. Water under the bridge in the stream of consciousness. Live in the now like the Mahatma Dalai Lama teaches. Life should be an infinite state of grooviness. Tell you what, score me some lithium. I'll help you get into this arcade place. Deal? Okay. Mythium! Robo fiends. T typical. Oh, I just happened. Oh, don't I have any anymore? Oh. Oh, okay. I thought I still had the vial from, from before. Hello. Hey, buddy. How 
can I get into the arcade? Come on, officer. I ain't violating no parole terminals. Give me a break, dog. I'm all legit. <laughs> Just upcycling this old patrol beater here. I'm cleaning this asshole off the street. It's practically community service. I ain't your parole officer, dog. Uh, I don't like the good cop, bad cop choices. I ain't no knock either. I just need to find the arcade to talk to my client, Proto J. I'm his defense attorney, and he's got to go over his trial speech, all that shit. Bro, you not spitting no lawyer speak? You ain't got the flat $10,000 dosache suit and fresh backgrown baby face all them lawyer shocks you got. You don't look like no attorney. <laughs> I, I work pro bono. One of the pays for shit. I uh, grew up in the ghetto myself. Human trash from Dickinson. I'm trying to give back, you know? You from Low City too, huh? No shit. Yeah, I guess you do look like you can't afford the water premiums for a shower. Good thing my old fat <laughs> nose thing is broken. What hood in Low City you be from? East side? West <gasps> side? Probably a trick question. Well, this is the only place we've actually been to, so... Princess Sybil Clinton Bush's Sunshine Apartments. My parents were neo-hippie bohemians. They liked to mingle with transgenics and mech people. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. You got that mulatto cyborg thing going on with your right-hand chrome there. Okay. Go up to the bouncer. That X900 over there. Tell him... I'm looking for a micro Takamak fusion cell for a T1138. Uh, what? A micro Takamak fusion cell. <laughs> T1138. Okay, thanks. Oh, and Lawman? Yeah. You do right by Proto J. You'll always have backup in Dickinson. Do wrong. We'll grind your bones to make our bread. By which I mean, chop you up into pieces and upcycle your body parts into new chassis. Well, what you calls it? Environmentally conscientious, like that. <laughs> All right, message received, <laughs> dog. Okay, let's save. Boop, boop. examine the door itself yeah but where did he put the mythium he totally had the vial on him before okay talk to you hey yeah this one I'm looking for a micro Takamak fusion cell for a T1138. Yeah, okay. Go ahead and try the shuttered door behind me. Oh, okay. This. What was the. Oh, that I guess it worked. Uh oh, okay. Wait, what's happening?
okay, I need to talk to this one again because I can't remember what the word was. That's not working. Uh, I don't suppose he writes those things down anywhere. Oh, okay. Where's the interaction box for this? Oh, first I need to interact with the door and then... So I can't... Oh, okay, I can't even interact with the keypad on his own. Do I get to see my dialogue history? Put it away, put it away. Shit, I need to load because I can't remember what I what it was. Okay. So where were we? Sorry, I have a shit memory. What was that past oh, phrase again? Oh, okay. A micro takama fusion cell, T1138. Okay, thanks. So, did we already talk to him? Hey. Yeah. So 1138 I'm was looking for a micro tokamak fusion cell. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that was only for passphrase and door code. Um, okay, let's let's try. Now that I know that the bloop bloop. Okay, there are no letters here. It's just. Okay, so this doesn't work. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's try that one. Unless uh, the binary needs to be transferred into decimal, which I don't know how to do. Oh, no, it's... Oh, it's okay. It's four digits only. So, it's four digits, this is, let's see, oh, I, I think this is random. Yeah, I don't know how that would break down into, into four digits. Okay, ah, uh, let's talk to you. What was the find me some mythium? Okay, mythium, got it. At least. I think that was our arrangement. <laughs> I might have hallucinated it. Hard to know consensus reality from consensus imagination sometimes. Where can I score some mythium around here? Come on, copper. I'm sure you throw bots in prison all the time for possession and have your own private stash of mythium to use for blackmail and profit, right? Not anymore. <laughs> well, I think there might be some purveyors of illicit wares on this block somewhere. 
Try the local flavor, compadre. Okay, I got it. I suppose I should try to move about. I've done this, uh, I made this mistake before that I, I assume that the area is finito and it's not. But this time, I think this is, this is the area that we've got. So, okay, we've reached the limit there. Can I go there? Come on, Carl, you can do it. Blip, bloop. Okay, so I can't go here. Let's see, what can we watch? Sorry. Okay. Okay, that is all. Hey, uh, I what's the door ask? code for the arcade again? I can't tell you that. Uh, a subroutine I coded into my head to make it impossible for me to say. Sure. Anyways, if you are actually tell you what the Chrome Boys, you should know it. Okay. Know where I can find some liquid crystal? I got no idea what you're rambling about, tourist. So what? You the errand boy for a blue screener? Uh oh. Come on, you gotta spin a better cover story than that, me man. Okay. We can bullshit. Come on. I'm close personal friends with a high steel chrome boy. I'm cool, bro bot. You take with a chrome boy? Bull shizzy. No shit. His handle is. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Proto J. And he'll be pissed if he finds out you stiffed the Coastlandia Gov connection that bailed him out of a two year sentence for cybernark trafficking. Proto J, huh? No shit. You the high city pull for the six billion dollar baller? Okay, ten bucks for a dime bag of myth. <laughs> Real pure product tonight. Not cut with baby formula and antifreeze like usual. Cooked by the Iron Chef himself. So we just happened to carry okay. ten bucks? Here's the ten. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Metal I'm hitting up the arcade tonight. Needed quarters for the machines. I'm gonna wipe Proto J's top score off the Donkey Kong game. <laughs> Ooh. Don't party too hard, G man. Oh, and put in a good word for me with the Proto J when you meet up. Okie dokie. Let's save. So yeah, I had one exactly like that before. What happened to it? Did the... No, it, it was still there when the Swatman left. Yo. Okay, here's your Mythium, buddy. Now, can I get that door code? He doesn't know oh, it. my precious dream. Uh, can you pass me the door code before you start doing drugs and go robot comatose again? I really need to get into the arcade. Okay, okay. You can't just waltz into the arcade, Donkey Kong, or you'll get yourself barrel rolled. Rolled straight into a cyberware chop shop. Well, they're harvest that arm for the black market. Where do you think they get the spare parts for chassis repair, huh? The entrance is the shuttered door in front of the stripper sign. The chassis repair thing is just a decoy. You gotta use the door code. Uh, <laughs> shit. I used to have the door code stored in my RAM, but it bit rotted the last time I shot up ten doses at once. Oops. Oh. It's a Z86 Centium 3. Abandonware, really. 
<laughs> so I don't mind abandoning it. Uh, did you just give me a piece of your brain? Yeah. Cyber brain? <laughs> Cyber brain? Some shit. I don't know how my operating system works. I just operate it. <laughs> anyway, all you gotta do is recover the door code from my brain RAM. Oh, and before you can get in, you'll need to tell the bouncer the passphrase. They change it all the time, so you'll have to get it from someone, like that buzzsaw robot with the mohawk, maybe. Okay, so I just decode your scrambled neural circuits to help me get into the arcade. All right. Not that it's my business, but you do realize you're at the end of your downward spiral of drug use, don't you? From the looks of it, oh, one more hit of Mythium and you're blue-screened forever. Permadeath. Who's asking you to save me, Captain America? My actuators are going. I got those repo guys waiting to buzzsaw my fusion reactor out of me, and I'm losing my jobs, damn mind, to silicon dementia. My cheating bitch of a girlfriend is gone. I got no kids, no friends. I'm just a defective product of hype tech. And you know what? I don't give a shit. I just want to go out tripping the hardest, most psychedelic balls possible. Bon voyage, buddy. Suit yourself. <laughs> Take it easy, man. Well, well, well. Should I fry it? Oh. Is there like a slot? Oh, there is a slot for it. you to actually actually type or yeah, let's try result and number oh yeah I can type in it's a space probably <laughs> okay. D six 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 six. Okay, I will remember that one. Oh, except ah, oh, no, that's a different code. <laughs> I'm gonna write some of this down. Might be useful later. Uh, pencil, pencil, pencil. So D six 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 was the other one, and there was three eight four.
some more. What happened? Okay, nothing happened. Him once more before we go in. Okay, I got it. Never mind. So, how do we go in like this? Yes. Now that we have entered a whole new area, I think I'm going to put one I'm going to save. And I'm going to end this episode here and carry on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Check out new food on Steam Greenlight. Uh, also, Geo uh, you can upload it on GOG, new game stuff, etc. etc. Links below. Bye!